Hi, it's Player Ban! Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Meg's Monster. Alright, last episode, we beat the crap out of Lady Nancy here, and now we gotta go towards the light and see what's all, what's all out there. Path to the surface. Nice! We got a whole new area again. Destination Subterranean Lake. Is this where you want to go? <laughs> yeah, we're going swimming. Ooh. It's <laughs> a fishing pole. Do 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 Hey bro, uh, you think these shrooms are edible or what? Dude, seriously? You were really trying to eat some nasty cave mushrooms? Huh, says the guy who eats a literal sludge every day. But seriously bro, we have no way of knowing how much farther we still gotta go to reach the surface. We gotta eat something, sooner or later. What do you say, Meg? Feel like having a nice juicy mushroom? <laughs> I wouldn't do that to five of you. If a human like her ate one of these, she'd be dead in minutes. Well, what are you talking about? I hear humans eat mushrooms all the time. <laughs> there are thousands of different varieties of mushrooms. Some edible, some deathly toxic. And make no mistake, there are nothing like the ones you might find up on the surface. <laughs> After all, you do know what this world is, don't you? It's a dumping ground that humans have been using to throw their most volatile waste into since time immemorable. And that's exactly how this world was created. So what stands to reason that anything that grows down here would only cause humans harm? Ah, never thought about it like that. Uh, yes. <laughs> Quite frankly, it's a bit of a miracle the child survived under your care for so long. Duh, goodbye. <laughs> Where did you come from, Gramps? She's just like following us around, checking us out. No way! Could it be? Oh my god, it is! A real life fishing rod! Uh, fishing rod? Well, what's that? Right, so uh, basically there's this thing called fishing, right? And the idea is that you use this rod here to drag edible fish out from underwater. It's all the rage among humans, bro. Some even treat it like a sport. From them, it ain't even about fishing the fish. They just want to catch the biggest or rarest fish they can, then throw them right back in the water. This is sick, man. I always wanted to try for myself. Hey, I know about fishing. I've never done it, though. Man, I know I've said it before, but you sure do know a, a lot of awful lot about humans. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost think you were obsessed. Ah, come on, man. Don't be such a buzzkill. And besides, it wouldn't be a bad idea to increase our food supply, right? You guys should sit back and relax while I take care of it for us. Ah, uh, fine. Aw oh, man, I thought there was gonna be like a fishing mini game or something. Meg, you wanna go swimming? You think he's gonna catch anything? Uh, I don't know. Uh, still nothing? Hey, don't rush me, man. I only just got started. I got one. That was fast. Uh, that looks like trash to me. Ah, dang it. Well, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I ain't giving up yet. He's gonna catch like this gigantic like sea monster or something. Do I just keep talking to people? You think he's gonna catch anything? I don't know, Meg. I don't know. I don't think I can leave either. Uh, still nothing? Quit rushing me. Fishing's supposed to be a very slow-paced pastime. Uh, it's a little genius guy. Oh, hey, there you guys are. Uh, I forgot your name. What's your name? <laughs> so, uh, what are you guys up to? Uh, fishing. Golan's always wanted to try it, I guess. <laughs> ah, I see. But here I got a head start so I could be waiting for you guys up ahead. Only come back down here because I was wondering what was taking you so long. Uh, you were waiting for us? Uh, how come? 
<laughs> well, I mean, you guys did kind of draw a group of armed humans to our world. Uh, just saying. Uh, not sure what to tell you. I don't know anything about that. Well, as a result of that little incident, the council kind of had a different opinion as far as what to do with you, I mean. Me? I said we should just kill you and get over it. Huh? What? You want to dr throw down? Nah, man. Take it easy. I can see that you guys are a little busy right now. Just come see me when you're done. I'll be waiting a bit. Smell you later. Also, is he like walking on his hair? Huh, great. Just what I wanted. Another annoying battle. Come on, Roy. You know they're fun. Hey, I got another bite, guys. Uh, just looks like more trash to me. Eh, man, fishing's harder than I thought. Oh, there it is. Whoa, did you guys see that? Uh, something's down there. Uh, looks pretty pa uh, massive. Alright, watch and learn, fellas. I'm about to show you amateurs how it's really done. Uh, you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> it was so big! Did you see it? Yes, we did, Meg. It was a giant sea monster! Uh, you guys sure you know that thing? It's pretty friggin' big, dude. Trust me, I got this. Just watch. Hmm. He ain't biting. Hey, Roy, got a sec? Uh, what's up? So I was thinking, maybe I just don't have the right bait for this big lug. Um, uh, bait? Yeah, something tasty that'll lure that sucker in. Could you take a look around and see if you can find anything that fits the bill? Dude, how the heck am I supposed to know what a giant cavefish likes to eat? Do it your dang self. No way, bro. I don't want to lose track of it. Please, I'm begging ya. Ugh, fine. Okay. Uh, guess we'll go find some bait. Apparently not here. Maybe this mushroom. Would this mushroom make for some good fishing bait? Worth a shot, I guess. Not like there's anything else around here. Nice. Uh, this is all I could find. Oh hey, one of those shrooms from earlier? It's got a weird glow to it, but that might actually be perfect for our purposes. Hand over, man. I'll just hook it onto the rod here and bam, we're all set. Oh? Whoa, I got him! Hook, line, and sinker! Man, he's a feisty one! Uh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> gotcha, what now, you big bag of gills? Uh, dude, I don't think it's given up just yet. Ah! It tried to eat me! Kill it, Roy! <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing's gigantic! And, uh, can it see? Gargantuan fish appeared. All right, let's uh, beat this fish up. Roy punches the enemy. Gargantuan fish is thrashing about the ground. It's just like splash, <laughs> like the magic harp. <laughs> Roy punches the enemy. Gargantuan fish gnaws Roy with his mighty jaws. Ow! Jeez Louise! I think it's gonna kill us. Should I? Should I heal or should I attack once more? I'm just gonna do an ultra. Roy unleashes a fearsome strike. Gargantuan fish lets out a bone chilling whale. Don't worry, Meg, I got this. Let's, uh. Yeah, why not? Let's just do this. Roy, use playing cards. Can I activate my trap card? Gargantuan fish is thrashing about on the ground. No worries, no worries. Roy punches the enemy. Gargantuan fish gnaws Roy with its mighty jaws. Okay, I feel like if it uses that scream thing, I'm gonna die. Um, I'm taking the risk. Ultra! Roy unleashes a fearsome strike. Gargantuan fish lets out bone chilling whale. Oh man, alright, well. Sorry guys. Oh, I'm still alive. Sweet. I guess we'll use this. Wait, what? Gargantuan fish dove back into the lake. Uh, uh story time? 
Gargantuan fish splashes Roy with a torrent of water. <laughs> that literally is splash. Dang, fish jump back in the lake. The heck am I supposed to attack it now? Roy, use this. Roy got the fishing rod. Uh, hang on, uh, don't tell me I have to. Use the rod, uh, fish has sucker back up again. Oh man, seriously? <laughs> Let's go fishing, Roy. Roy casts his lure. It took the bait. Atta boy, Roy. Now reel that sucker in. Ugh, stupid fish. Okay, okay, what do I gotta do? Dang, things putting up quite a fight. Don't sweat it, my rookie angler pal. Let me give you a little pro tip. Fishing lesson number one. Alright, listen, that thing may be strong, but it's dumber than a doornail. So all you gotta do is knock it at balance. Wait for it to take a breath, then yank it hard in the other direction. Ugh, pro tip my booty. Whatever. Might as well give it a shot. Try to stop the cursor right in the middle of the gauge. Or gauge. <laughs> Is that good? Real gargantuan fish up out of the water. <laughs> and it took damage. <laughs> nice! <laughs> That's it. Nice going, Roy. Now show him who's boss. Gargantuan fish is flopping around helplessly. <laughs> Sweet! Ultra! War unleashes a fearsome strike. Gargantuan fish is flopping around helplessly. Gargantuan fish regained his posture. Alright. Aw, oh, man! Gargantuan fish dove back into the lake. Roy punches the enemy, but the attack didn't reach. Gargantuan fish splashes Roy with a torrent of water. Uh oh. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, let's do, um. Okay. Let's do this. Look at the bombing! So we can up his attack. And then. And then we're gonna cast the lure here. Roy casts his lure. It took the bait! Aw oh, man. That was not super in the middle. Real gargantuan fish up out of the water. Gargantuan fish is flopping around helplessly. Alright, time to ultra. War unleashes a fearsome strike. Gargantuan fish is flopping around helplessly. Gargantuan fish regains his posture. Alright, let's quickly... Aw, oh, come on. Gargantuan fish drove back into the lake. Royless lifts a mighty blow, but it didn't reach. And now it splashes Roy with a torrent of water. Dang. Alright. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's, 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 let's up her defense a little bit. This torrent of water business is not doing us a favor. Next defense increased. And we get splashed with another torrent of water. Alright, cast an allure. It took the bait. This fish is dumb. Real gargantuan fish up out of the water. Gargantuan fish is flopping around helplessly. Alright, Ultra! War unleashes a fearsome strike. Oh, we're almost there. Alright, alright. It's gonna jump back in again. Oh, no! We didn't! War punches the enemy. Sweet! Wait. Oh my gosh, is it barely alive? Gargantuan fish jumped back into the lake. It swam away and retreated into the depths. We won the battle. Roy's attack increased. Roy's defense increased. Meg's heart got stronger. Aw oh, man, we lost the fish. Attaboy, Roy. We both are uh, bonafide anglers now. Uh, not really. All it did was flare around a while and then hop back into the water. Wasn't the whole point for us to eat the dang thing? See, I wish you wouldn't be like this. All that matters is that I'm satisfied. Uh, so we're done here then. Uh, fine, whatever. Uh, let's go. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> Golden's like, let's fish. And then they fish and you get this giant fish out of the water and we beat it up and swims away and that's the end of the story. Alright, where do we even go? Okay, this way. Well, that was something. Destination, Crystal Cave. Is this where you want to go? I, I guess so. This place better be pretty. Oh, hey. There you guys are. God, it took you long enough. I was so sick of waiting, and I made a whole obstacle course for you. Uh, obstacle course? Yeah, check it out. Power on! 
<laughs> There's broccoli? <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Well, think you can safely navigate this unending barrage of arrows and broccoli to reach the other side, folks? Try not to lose your balance, cause it's a long way down. <laughs> I'll be waiting on the other side. Wait, what happens if we get hit by the broccoli? Arrows I get, but what in the heck is broccoli? Dear God. So this is what broccoli looks like. What even is it? <laughs> Some type of food, apparently. And the bane of every human child's existence, from what I'm told. I hear some kids can't even look at that stuff without breaking down in tears. Ugh, talk about playing dirty. I... I hate broccoli! See what I tell ya. <laughs> uh, come on. See, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's go. No, you're just built like a tank, dude. If Meg takes one hit from those arrows or that broccoli, it'll be curtains for all of us. And I don't want to get hit by an arrow either, though I can't probably handle the broccoli. Okay, then why don't you block the broccoli from Meg? Oh yeah, well I'm also dodging arrows myself. Great plan, Roy. Not sure I can do that and keep track of the broccoli and Meg at the same time. Okay, then uh, what about this? Uh, we'll make it a sort of a teamwork exercise. I'll yell instructions to you guys from here, and you guys just go whenever I tell you it's safe, okay? Okay. Uh, you sure about this? Well, not like we really have any other choice. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> I love- I just love their conversation about broccoli. They're like, this is the deadliest vegetable on the planet. Alright, so, okay, so we are blocking the arrows with Golan first, and then Meg goes, I guess. Alright, I don't know, I don't know what we're doing here. Alright, uh, Golan, get in front of this arrow, go! Oh, go Golan, go! <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> I just killed Golan! I thought he was supposed to block the arrow! Oh wait, hold on, he can survive arrows. Okay, that was a very dramatic death. I am so sorry, Golan. Alright, let's do this. Sorry, that was, that was really sad, I'm sorry. There you go, blocking that broccoli. Go, Meg, go! Oh, no. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I know Meg just gets... <laughs> It's knocked over the edge by a broccoli. Okay, okay, I gotta do this real this time. Okay, go, go, go! Alright, we're doing good. We're doing- <laughs> we're doing alright. Alright, here okay, okay. One step at a time. One step at a time. Oh man, these are going fast this time. Go, man, go! God, jeez, that was too close. Alright, alright. Alright, we're safe here. What? What just happened? Oh gosh dang it, I keep forgetting. When I move Golan out of the way, then the broccoli comes and hits Meg. That's what happened in the, in the first time Meg got hurt. Okay, I'm sorry everyone. I'm just so concentrated on getting out of the way of that broccoli, I suppose. Go Meg, go, go. All right, all right, she's good here. All right, all right, we're good. Okay, just gonna wait for that arrow one more time. Nice, nice, okay. So I'm gonna move Meg out of the way. Out of the way. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Go, Meg, go! Nice. Alright, third time's the challenge, right, everyone? Hey, nice job. Way to not fall to your death. Man, that was a pain in the booty. Why in the heck would you ever build that? Because it's fun. Oh, and just for the record, all that broccoli that got fired out, I'm gonna go down and pick it all back up later and then make a big pot of stew for everyone. So don't worry, no food went to waste in the making of this obstacle course. Ugh, you can't be serious. Okay, next obstacle. Power on. Uh 
Let's see how you fare against my zappy hot lasers this time. Huh. Where the heck did you even get something so serious or dangerous? Well, it's human tech, originally. I just had old man Sebastian tweak him up to be extra deadly for me for times like these. Times like these? Just how often do you do this? No, I'm guessing they still won't put a den in Roy. I was hoping to make them so deadly they reduce even a big guy of Kim to Ash at the light speed, but alas. The old man said the equipment's too old to risk upping the output. I always gotta run my, ruin my fun. Anyway, I'll be watching for the other side again. Try not to die too quickly now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this ain't nothing. Uh, seriously? Man, if that... If it's that easy for you, I almost wonder if I could survive it myself. Uh, wanna give it a shot? Uh, yeah, no thanks. Uh, not when I've only got one life to lose. For this puzzle, you can switch between characters at will. Use each character's specialty to get them all the way to safety. Oh, okay. So I'll just, uh, I guess block here? Uh... Sure. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, stop. Next turn. Alright. Make safe. What's the What's this? I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, Meg, you stay here for now and let me uh get going and come over. Alright, Golan is safe. Alright, so what's happening here? What the heck's this? These things, these, uh, there's these little strings connecting these boxes to this laser thingies. The little guy said this was some kind of human tech, didn't he? Maybe I should have Golan take a look at this. He knows all about human stuff. Alright, Golan. Use your noggin here, buddy. Help us out. Huh? Well, it looks like I can switch the lasers on and off of this thing. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, first off... Ah, weird. I can't push this button. Looks like there's a miss- a part missing. Wait, could it just be that thing over there? Okay. Well, can't I just, like, I don't know, use Roy to just- Ah, uh, wait up, Roy! Oh, what is it? That ground doesn't look too sturdy, bro. Pretty sure if you or I try to walk over that, it's totally gonna crumble. Meg might be able to get uh, across safely, though. Oh yeah, looks like- <laughs> look at all these little cracks. Okay, so I guess for us, what we need to do is... So, he can only block one at a time. So, if I play Golan, and let's see, what happens if I do the green button? Ah, uh, it's the ones that don't have the green buttons that turn off. Alright, so the blue button should be the next one. So let's switch over to Meg here. Oh, please. Okay. Switch over to Roy. Oh, wait. Can Roy block this too? Yeah, I guess he can. Okay. Switch over to Meg. Switch over to Golan. Make Golan turn on the green one. Okay. Switch over to Roy. You can go with this one. Switch over to Meg. Make her grab the piece. Oh no. What's going on? Dang it, the stupid freaking bracelet. Anytime I try to do anything, I gotta look at this ugly thing and be reminded all over again. I don't think I need to remind you, Golan. But as long as you've got that bracelet on your arm, you are powerless to do anything but obey us. If it weren't for this dang thing, I could be free. Listen to me, Golan. If a situation arises in which you can get rid of the girl with no risk of Roy getting in the way, by all means, take swift and decisive action. Oh no. 
That won't be an issue. Now that we all know it's possible for Roy to make his way up here on his own, we can create an alternate reason for him to feel he needs to come up here. There's no need to guide him by the nose using the child as justification anymore. If anything, we would do well to eliminate those risk factors. If you could just do that, we can handle the rest from there. In other words, your mission will be complete. And I would be more than happy to grant you your freedom for such a contribution. Eh, if I push this button right now and hit Meg with those lasers, she'd probably die instantly. Basically, no pain whatsoever. Roy would probably beat the heck out of me, but I can assist it was just an accident. But he probably wouldn't kill me for it. Plus, I mean, c come on, it's my first time operating this thing. Everyone makes mistakes. Uh, and if you really think about it, if we hadn't found Meg, then we did, when we did, she would have totally been monster food by now. She was bound to die down here at some point. Hard to pin the blame on me alone. Alright, let's do it. All I gotta do is switch these lasers over. Come on, Golan, before you start getting cold feet. Just do it already. Dang it. Aw, Golan. Being a good guy. You found some sort of machine part. Hey, I found something. Oh yeah? G -g cool. Uh, nice work, Meg. Uh, could you bring that back over here? Alright, so... Let's see. I think... That, okay, so... I need... To switch back to Golan and switch on the red one. And then switch back to Roy. Make him stand here. Switch back to Meg. Get her here. Switch back to Golan. Make him switch the blue one. Um, switch back to Meg. Make her run over. Switch back to Roy, I guess. Or I guess I could switch back to Golan. Or actually, do I need to give her? Here we go. Uh, here. Do you need this? Uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Uh, you know, Meg, I was thinking. Uh, you're a good kid. I was listening to whatever Oi or I tell you to do. But doesn't it scare you a little bit, having to uh, trust a couple of monsters like us? Uh, no. Uh, why would it? You're the good guys. Of course I trust you. Ah, uh, where the heck she get that idea? Golan, you can't kill her now, buddy. She's too darn cute. Alright, hop on. Alright, sweet. Now we can all cross over safely. Okay. That was a cute little puzzle. Uh, nice. We finally made it through. Ah, uh, looks that way. Hmm? What's up, man? You seem kinda down. He's been acting weird for a while now. Huh? No, I haven't. Stop making stuff up. Come on, let's get moving. That little runt's gotta be waiting for us up ahead. God, I can't believe he just wasted our time with that. What do you say we go give him a piece of our minds? Okay. Well, I guess, uh... Guess we are gonna battle the other guy next? Alright! Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, so, I guess this episode we beat up a giant fish, we solved some laser beam broccoli arrow puzzles, and I guess in the next video we're gonna take on that little, uh, genius smart aleck guy. <laughs> Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!